Today, we'll learn how to recreate vintage retro VHS effect. Welcome to the Resolve Store. We have these two videos on the timeline, so we'll be applying the retro effects created by our team to create a VHS-inspired look. First, let's go ahead and open the Retro X VHS effects folder. In order to create a VHS look in DaVinci Resolve, we'll need to use a combination of these different elements. So now let's get back to Resolve and import the chromatic aberration power grade. It gives the footage that recognizable VHS appearance. Go to the Color tab, then right-click under the Gallery panel. Go ahead and click on Import. Then select the Chromatic Aberration DPX file. Now make sure the clip is selected, then apply Power Grade over this clip. It looks a bit more saturated and overexposed, right? We can adjust the exposure if we want. Just click on the first node, then play with the curves a little bit. Now there, it looks fine to me. Now click on the second node. The combination of the second and third node is designed to work very similar to a Gaussian blur, but allows us to blur each color channel individually. That's the red, the green, and the blue. It also adds over-exaggerated contrast to the edges and fine details of our footage. This gives our footage a digitally sharpened appearance that looks dated. Now, if you feel the effect is overly done, then you can decrease its visibility by playing with the pan setting. And we're going to keep it at a minus 7. There you go, it looks good. Now, let's see how it looks. Now, finally, we've got a chromatic aberration node. This effect is added to imitate the misalignment of the color channels that were present in VHS tapes. We have perfectly replicated the chromatic aberration effect. Let's move on to the next step. We'll be importing a 4 to 3 aspect ratio frame to our timeline. So go ahead and drag it to the timeline and make sure that it's imported and kept on the top layer. The next step is to import other overlay elements. There are a variety of overlays that contribute to recreating a VHS effect. As these are modular elements, you can experiment with these elements to create different and unique versions of the VHS look. Now, we're giving four overlays from our Retro X VHS effects pack for free. The link you'll find in the description. If you want to create different variations of the VHS look, then you can purchase the full Retro X VHS pack. It consists of 45 real and distorted VHS effects, chromatic aberration power grade, and SFX designed to create a trendy, nostalgic VHS look. The download link, again, is in the description. Now let's get back to the tutorial. We'll be importing this recording overlay to mimic the VHS recorder record mode. Now change the composition mode of this overlay to screen. Now next, we'll be importing the scan lines overlay. Change its composition mode to screen. As the footage is overexposed right now, you can't see the effect properly. Now let's finish adding all the overlays, and then we can go ahead and see the complete output. Next, import the noise overlay. You can try different composite modes and see which looks the best, but we'll be decreasing the opacity of the noise. Lastly, we'll be importing Glitch Overlay and change its composite mode to Soft Light. That way, it increases the saturation and gives it a more complete VHS look. Now let's see the final output. It looks exactly like it was shot on a VHS camcorder. Now let's quickly work on the next footage by following the same steps. Apply the power grade. Adjust the saturation accordingly. And then copy and paste the same overlays over the footage. Let's see how the second clip looks. Look how, by using the Retro X effects, we completely transform the digitally shot footage to look like a footage shot on a VHS camcorder. Well, thanks for watching. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. 
If you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button. See you in the next one.